Yo, for Asgard, this is the first, first ever official F-U-I-M-D-B. So with a letter F, letter U, with a I-M-D-B, F-U-I-M-D-B. Um, you know, these, these people aren't posting my reviews. Um, was it January or February, whenever it was, when Aquaman came out on DVD, the Marvels came out on DVD, I waited to watch it, watch it, watch both of them, gave my review, I didn't like the movie, and that's what I said, obviously not in those exact words, but I stated, I didn't like the movie, and, so, and since then, those two reviews have not posted, I've tried multiple times to repost it, Till this day, they have not posted. I even uh, made a, a, a reviewed an um, an episode of Arrow, and that review has not been posted yet. Um, so F U I M D B. Um, I enjoyed using the platform. Uh, started off as just like a lurker, just reading reviews, and then all of a sudden wanted to review. Started doing reviews for the last what seven years. It was all good, you know. Reviews posted, no problems. Then all of a sudden, things change. Uh, my reviews aren't posting. Uh, my views will get posted sometimes. They get taken down. You get no notice why. Uh, all, again, all I do is just give you my review. I, I state it whether I like the movie or not. State what's in the movie sometimes. That's it. I'm not attacking any actor or any type of whatever is out there. I just state my, my, uh, state my piece and move on. But I am DB. Um, they don't like my reviews. Um, so there's no point in, in uh, being on that platform if they want to put my reviews up. And before it used to be kind of funny and all that with them censoring me. But now it's like, it's ridiculous. I just feel like I am blacklisted on IMDb. I, I feel like I am blacklisted. It's somehow they know when I'm posting reviews and then they're going to blacklist me. Why? I don't know. I, I'm not influential. I'm not likable, so I'm not sure why they want to do that to these reviews. And, and, and reviews, overall, it's meaningless. You write a review today, 10 years from now, do you think anyone's going to care? No. They read it and they move on. That's how it is. But anyways, um, first, ep ep first ever video of FUIMDB reviews. Um, sort of a little bit of review-ish, a little bit. We're going to view, we're going to be... I wasn't really reviewing, but saying if I liked or enjoyed um, any of the, the million dollar movies. And before we begin, uh, this is just my take. Just because a, a movie makes a, mil a billion dollars does not mean it's a good movie. All it means is people, a lot of people went to watch it. Watch it, and that doesn't mean it's a good movie. A lot of people re-watch bad movies. A lot of people watch these bad movies and, and other movies and decent movies. And they don't get a billion. So that mean the movie is awful? No. Again, this, this because a, month, a movie gets a billion, it means nothing. It, it means, I won't say it means absolutely nothing, but it, it's, it's not concrete to say that this movie is great. But we're going to go through some of these movies, whether or not I watch or not, and kind of give you my little take on it. Toy Story 3, I think it was a good movie, seen it maybe twice. Uh, first time, it's, I fell asleep, not because the movie was boring, I think I was, just, I was just tired. Went to the movie theater, long story short, fell asleep. But fast forward, I got the DVD, watched it at, watched it at home, and, and just loved the movie. It was a great movie. Is this movie worth, uh, uh, is this movie worth a billion? I will say for um, a trilogy... Uh, with a little mild conclusion. I don't know. Uh, uh, say for a trilogy, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll say yes, yes. This what this movie deserved a billion. Zootopia. I've only seen parts of Zootopia, and to me, it's just it's just your basic regular movie. It's it's nothing. It's nothing special. So does this movie deserve a billion dollars? I'm going to say no. Toy Story 4. 
Uh, this was like a this is this is actually the mild conclusion of uh, the franchise. But obviously, this is going to be a Toy Story five. Is this this is if is this one worth the billion? I would say if coming into this knowing that there's going to be a conclusion, like this is like the finale of the Woody Buzz and all the other guys, you know, being present. Uh, and also, you know, a couple of the actors that passed who were on the movie. Uh, this being the finale, I would say yes, this movie deserved the billion. But as a movie, it was okay. It didn't have the, the feel of Toy Story 1 or 3. Um, it was okay, but I don't think this movie deserved the billion. The Black Panther. Um, uh... Is this movie worth a billion? No, absolutely not. For the movie per se, no, the movie was just okay of a movie. Uh, for the hype, um, for Black Panther, for this being, um, it's not the first so-called black superhero, but the first in modern in modern current times. Um, with all that, yes, it deserved it because this is it's it's, it's very rare to see. Um, the so-called black man on the forefront. Um, the hype, again, with the hype, yes, it deserved it. Uh, with, you know, Chadwick, you know, and um, Killmonger and, and uh, all those guys in this movie, I'll say yes. But as a movie, uh, based on the story, it wasn't that good. It, it, it was not that good of a movie. Top Gun... Never seen this movie, and um, just by the, tra- I, don't, I don't even seen the trailers either. But I've sort of seen the trailers, but no, nothing that I'm like I'm gonna be watching it to be like looks interesting. But things that I've seen with clips and uh, the other prequels as well, it's an okay movie. It doesn't look that interesting to me. Um, does this movie deserve the billion? Just from what I am seeing. You know, I have, I have no desire to watch the prequels or this movie. So I'm going to say no. This movie does not deserve a billion dollars. Harry Potter. Um, this is 2011. I'm not sure about the, all the parts of uh, Harry Potter and whole storyline. Um, but I remember being in the hype as a kid. The hype of Harry Potter was huge. It was like, before the MCU, there was, you know, it was, there was Twilight, but then there was... Harry Potter was like the MCU of the early days, of the early thousands. Um, with all that hype with Harry Potter, I would say, yes, it deserved it. Uh, obviously, I didn't see the movie. I have no idea what Harry Potter is exactly about. I've only seen bits of the first one. And again, I was if, if, if I was really interested, I would do my best to watch more of it. But I was never really interested in um, Harry Potter. Um, based on the hype, I'll say yes. And the fan base, yes, it deserved it. Um, other than that, I, I, I'll say I don't know. Uh, Avengers Endgame, of course. This, this movie downright deserved a billion. Um, for the conclusion of a, of a phase, being Avengers 4, having all the heroes there, Heroes Return, uh, the cliffhanger in Infinity War. This is the MCU so I would say yes, the, the based on the hype, and the nostalgia, and the history, and, and the, the years leading up to this, the movies leading up to this, yes, uh, this movie deserved the billion. As a movie per se, it's a little iffy. It's a little iffy. Um, I, I thought it could be better. I really thought this movie could be better. Um, but but it was really good though. I, I mean, it wasn't the best they could do, but at the same time, it's like you know I'm I'm satisfied with what we got. So I'll say yes, this movie deserved the billion. Oh, uh, here we go, The Dark Knight. So <clears throat> for for years, up until recent, I've always had a beef with Batman. Just never liked him. Just never liked him. Just never will never got into him. Um, and as I was watching these movies, I just never cared for for uh, for the movies at all. Um, they're too serious, too boring. Just it really wasn't really engaging to say the least. Um, 
I mean, I obviously, I remember the hype during all of this. The hype was pretty big and huge, and everyone was talking about this movie, Dark Knight, etc., etc., really good, and here I go finally watching it, and it's like, this is the best they can do? Is this really the best they can do? Um, I wasn't... As, as, a, as a movie and the story overall, I'll say no, this movie is not worth a billion. It was boring. Like, it was boring. It's, it's not your traditional superhero movie. It was just a boring, bland, serious, realistic type of boring movie. That's what it is. For the hype, um, I would say nah. Um, because they're, they're Batman fans and they're fanboys or nerds. They'll, they'll like anything. Pretty much, so for the hype, no. For the as a movie, I'll say no. This movie is not worth a billion. Uh, Finding Dory, I have not seen this movie. I've briefly seen Finding Nemo, but never seen Finding Dory. So I'm gonna say no comment for this one. Uh, Lord of the Rings, not never been a huge fan of it. I did see the first one just maybe last year or this year. Um, I thought it was boring. As a movie, I thought it was boring. I thought I thought it was going to be a fun adventure type movie, fantasy movie. Watched it, was bored, was falling asleep, wasn't really paying attention. It was just such a boring movie. As a movie, is this movie worth a billion? No, movie no. This movie's garbage, boring. For the hype, even for the hype, no, because this is just a horribly boring movie. It was just so boring. That's why it took me so long to watch this one. It took me over uh, over 20 years not to watch this one, but the first one. I'm not sure which one's first or whatnot, but it was just boring. Boring. Star Wars, Force Awakens. Uh, I'm not big on the Star Wars franchise. Not really for me. I, I watch it from time to time. I do like the fantasy stuff and the adventure. Um, Force Awakens was like one of the first Star Wars movies I've ever seen, actually. Um, it's because of the whole Disney merger and the hype around it. Um, as a movie, and just being a first Star Wars noob for the first time, um, is this movie worth a billion? I would say no. Nah, nah. Um, I, like I've never watched the other the uh, other um, other Star Wars movies before this, um, and like I, as when I say never watched, like I never sat down and actually watched it. Again, I've seen clips, I've seen other YouTubers use clips, I've seen brief, you know, stuff from there time to time. So I've seen it. I'm, I'm even though I don't know much about Star Wars, I'm, I'm not a noob. I'm not completely ignorant uh, about Star Wars, but looking back at the earlier Star Wars movies. Lack of the early Star Star Wars movies, um, those movies look better. They they just looked way better. Those movies look like it was a fantasy movie. These Disney movies look like exactly like they're on set. It just looks like a movie. This just I mean I know it's a movie, but these movies look like movies. They look kind of cheap in a way. But when you look at the older movies, these, these movies look classic. It looks like. A real fantasy. Looks like I'm in real outer space. So does this movie deserve the billion? I'm gonna say no. It's, it's overrated. Oh, this movie. Boring again. Another boring, uninteresting movie. Uh, I'm not. I'm not triggered, or I don't get excited over cameos and all that. I don't. I'm not. I'm not like that to see other old actors or characters that's fine but i'm not going to be all overly excited about it uh it was good to see toby and garfield back in the movie all the other old villains and other actors in this movie um but does this movie deserve the billion no it was it was a it was just, a, it was just an okay movie it was just okay like it, that's all it was it was just okay it wasn't horrible and it was not good or great. Just okay. Uh, a good movie to watch if you have like like a, like a Sunday afternoon, nothing else to do. Just pop it in and relax to get ready for the week. Um, the cameos and all the other stuff it was okay. Again, I wasn't all excited about it. Um, 
based on the hype, does this movie deserve the billion? I would say yes. Because uh, a lot of these fanboys and nerds, they would love to see Toby back and Garfield and all those other Spider-Mans back and villains back. And they got to see that and the hype and they were happy. But as a movie, does this movie deserve the billion? I would say no, this movie does not deserve the billion. Incredibles 2. Incredibles 1 obviously is the better of the two. This one was okay. A um, little bit of a letdown. I don't know why. I have to. I have to watch these movies again to actually give you a fresh take. Obviously, my opinion may be different because some movies I hate back then, I like now. Some movies I like then, I hate now. So, probably have a different take. And to watch all these movies would take forever. So, um, from what I remember, it was okay. It wasn't bad. It was, it was okay. Good of a movie. It was great to see them back. Um, for the hype, is this worth a billion? I'm going gonna, gonna to say no. Even though we waited waited quite a long time for them. Was it worth it? I would say no. It was kind of a letdown. Um, as, a, as a movie per se, was this movie, movie any good? Um, as a movie, I'll say no. Not worth a billion. Skyfall. Um, I think I've seen this one. Um, no, I've seen one of them. Um, not too big on the James Bond franchise. Uh, for the hype, I'll say yes, it's worth a billion. It's like James Bond. For an actual movie, eh, just a regular movie. Um, Jurassic Park, a classic. Uh, you know, dinosaurs, horror... You know, this is 1993. Is this, is this movie worth a billion? I'll say for the hype. And as a movie, I'll say yes. Um, I mean, dinosaurs back in the day, as the 90s, as a kid, dinosaurs were like were like the Avengers of today. And to see them and being, you know, the dinosaurs we learned them to be was very fun. Very fun movie, very nice movie. So yes, worth a billion. Um, the Last Jedi did not... I might have seen this one. Did I see this one? I might have watched maybe two of them. Yeah, I think I did. I did. And um, just like the, the other one, it's okay. Again, it just looks so cheap. Looks like an actual movie. Just, nah. Is it worth the billions? Nope. Not at all. Um, far From Home. Is this movie worth the billion? No. No, not a way. No, no, no. Took me a while to watch this movie. I didn't see it in theaters. Didn't really rush to watch it on DVD. Because it didn't look too good in, in trailers. For the hype, no, not a worth a billion. As a movie, not worth a billion either. Just meh, meh of a movie. Just meh. The Avengers. Oh, this, this, this. Oh, man. This was it, man. Um, man, I, I got I got into superheroes right around 2009. And the first MCU movie I seen was Iron Man 2. Then I was a big Thor fan, saw Thor, loved it. And since then, you know, I've been on the MCU bandwagon. But leading up to the Avengers, man, the hype was real. The hype was real. To see Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Captain America, Hawkeye, Black Widow. Um, the first ever legit team up in uh, movie history. Um, it was awesome. It was a good movie. It, it, I would say it was for the for first time doing this. It was a good movie. For the hype, yes, this movie deserved the billions. For the for as a movie, I'll say yes, this movie deserved the billions. Is it like the the, the greatest or the great a uh, movie? I won't say it's great, but I'll say that it is a very good movie. It was very good. The, the effects Everything just worked out perfectly. I mean, this is the first 
major team up with a god, Iron Man, uh, the green monster, a, a, a soldier out of time, versus another trickster god. First time ever doing something on this of, of this of a big scale. I would say yes, this movie deserved the billions for the hype and for the success that it gave us. So yes, that movie get a, gets a billion. Inside Out 2, uh, I love the first one, but not all movies deserve or need a, a sequel. Um, they could have just stopped at the first one. They did not. This did not need a sequel. I haven't seen it. I haven't even seen the trailer, but... It's just one of those things where it's like, you know, it's not necessary. What I've seen it inside out in the first one was perfect. Like, we, we you know, to, to be, I'd rather fans be begging for a sequel and not get one than for fans to get a sequel that didn't need to happen because it didn't need to happen. Um... Just saw, just saw as a franchise, uh, the Inside Out franchise series, does this movie deserve the billions? I'm going to say no, because it did not need a sequel. Civil War. And um, one of the main reasons why this movie got a billion, I would say, because of Spider-Man and because of Black Panther and because this was like Avengers, you know, three, basically. Uh, for the hype, yes, this deserved the billions. Um, but as a movie, does this deserve a billion? I'll say no. It was just a, a very horrible, crappy imitation of the Civil War story arc based on the comics. It was barely a Civil War. Like, all it was was these guys, like, you know, fighting. I mean, I know Civil War is about fighting, but it wasn't like the comics. There was barely any civil thing going on. It was just... It was just nonsense. Uh, but it was good to see Black Panther make his, make his debut in this movie. Also great to see Spider-Man make his MC, MCU debut as well. Uh, for the hype, yes, this movie deserves it. Because this is like... This is like pre-Infinity War. Trying to cram in all these other heroes into one. So this was a, a good test run. Does it deserve the billion? Um, I'll say no. As a movie, no. For the hype, yes. But as a movie, it wasn't that good. I'll say no. Um, I'm going to do a part two for Asgard.